Okay, if anyone has a problem with SPSS where... I'll show you the issue. I was trying to run a man Whitney U. So let's go to non-parametric statistics. Legacy dialogues. And we're doing just a, two independent samples. Okay, let's do this here. Define your grouping variable. Now we're trying to run it against variable 43, which doesn't really matter what it is, but we'll show you. Options, everything. We could do descriptors, but I'm not worrying about that right now. Now you hit OK, and it takes forever down here. And this is what you get. Watch. You get this lovely warning about set workspace command and not enough workspace, insufficient, blah, 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 insufficient memory. And if you're like me, and you don't know anything about computers really, you look at that and go, wonderful. That's great. I can do my assignment easily. But I figured this out by myself, figuring out, because when you call SPSS, they basically tell you you're a student and they don't care enough to help you. So, let's do this. I went to Syntax. Now, to find out what your workspace is, type in Show Workspace. Now, highlight that, if you get all the letters, and run. On your output, it's going to show you that your workspace is practically nothing. 24,000 kilobytes. That's about it, which isn't a lot. So, it tells you, you know, you could try and move it up incrementally, but I got a little frustrated trying to get this done. So, go back to your syntax. And change show to set. Now, equals, and I went crazy. I went right to 500,000. Let's see, equals 500, and I just put 296, just so it was con congruent with the previous number. And I hit run again. Now, it won't show any new um, no uh, output, but I'll show you here. Now you go to syntax, changes to, oh, I opened a new window. That was my fault. Let me go back to syntax. Now I hit show workspace again. Again, highlight the command, run. And now you can see I've altered what it was set at to this. So the number is significantly larger. Now let's try and run that statistic again. Go to Analyze, Non-Parametric, Legacy Dialogs, two independent samples, same variables, run, and look at that. You actually have a result. It actually did what you asked it to do. Amazing. But when you download the software from your college or institution, your university, whatever, they don't tell you that they set the, the workspace memory to the absolute minimum. Because if you look up the statistics online, I looked it up later, or not this, but the parameters, that is the absolute minimum amount of kilobytes that this software will run on. So they set it to the absolute minimum and do not tell you that. And you have to figure out on your own that you can't do your work because they set it to the absolute minimum. Well, if that helped anybody, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that you can just view this and look at it, but it took me hours of internet research to figure out where to even look for the problem. And the only reason I was able to figure it out is because I remembered working with syntax for my master's degree. So, have a good day, everybody. Hopefully your SPSS works easier than mine.